Okay, so this is a example I've already built. Um, and now I'm going to block my hand in front of the connect and it jumps back to a capture of myself in somewhat of a T-pose. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll skip this whole automated aspect and we'll just do it manually. So the easiest way to do that is just put your mouse kind of hovering over the lock button and then step back out so the connect can see you. Click lock. So now you have a still frame of yourself that makes it um, a lot easier to work on this. Okay, now how do we go about making this actual guy? Let's start with a select. Um, I'll put a null here. We'll call it null connect. Okay, so to make a skeleton, we need to select the joints in order um, so that we can then sequence them into little lines. Let's do hand tip L. R. And if you want, you can look. There are some that I was skipping. I think there's a center shoulder. Yeah, shoulder C. I'm skipping that for now. Anyway, so that gives us all the joints of the arm. We would then go and do the legs from foot up and then down to the other foot, and then we would do one from the head to hip for the torso. So for now we have arms. Maybe we can call this select arm chans. Then shuffle. Sequence every nth. Let's just do the rename here. T X Y Z. Nice little shortcut. Okay. No. No arm chans. All right. Now let's throw this into a limit. We'll call this limit arms. TX, TY, TZ. Okay, let's make this be a tube. Ta da! So, in theory, if I step into the scene, that should move with my arms. Great. So we could then repeat the process. Cool. Looks like pants. Here we have a dude. So that is the basics of how to make a SOP skeleton from your Connect Shop data, which you can then use to drive all sorts of fun. I'll save this. This example will be available online. So now we can see my spaceman.